Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing an update of my uh, EDC or what I'm carrying sort of every day at the moment. Uh, my work is taking me uh, around the place a little bit but uh, uh, my day-to-day -day work is all in sort of one uh, spot for rehearsals for a show uh, and so I sort of wanted to show what I'm uh, carrying uh, and just a little bit of the gear that I'm using. So firstly you see here uh, this is my sling bag. This is the uh, Bravo Sling Maxi from Alpaca Gear. As you can see there, Alpaca. Uh, this is a bag I'm currently preparing a review for. Uh, it's super solid. It has a great capacity. It's got some good sort of features and pockets and stuff and uh, good straps and all that kind of thing. So it's a, it's a really great bag for this need where everything is sort of the same every day. So I'm just gonna take you through a little tour of what I am carrying in this right now. So as I said, I carry my iPad. It's a 12.9 inch uh, iPad Pro, one of the original generation ones. So like super old, super chunky. So it carries a good size uh, laptop or I think up to about a 14 inch, um, which is great. I carry my planner, which at the moment is a bullet journal in the Galen Leather A5 zippered folio. Um, and in here I have Archer and Olive A5 notebook. Archer and Olive make great notebooks uh, with really good quality 160 GSM dot grid paper. Uh, nice linen covers, all of that kind of stuff. Super fountain pen friendly uh, and other media as well. So if I'm wanting to sketch or anything like that, I can. Uh, and in here I just keep a, uh, this is the uh, Montevede Quad, uh, Quadro, which is a multi, which has a, a couple of ballpoint pens and a 0.5 mechanical pencil. And I use the pencil on this also a lot for my uh, work taking notes on you know music and all that kind of stuff. So that's a super you know great piece of gear. I've used this a lot. It's sort of showing some good signs of <laughs> the use it's getting, uh, but it's a really solid protective cover for anything up to A5. So at one point I had the Hobonichi Cousin in here. I've had uh, other planners and other notebooks and things. And uh, at the moment I'm using an Archer and Olive because it's just such beautiful paper. Simple things like a Kindle. Uh, you know, for when I'm reading on the train. A drink bottle, this is the 500ml Kinto brand, which is a Japanese uh, brand of sort of homewares and stuff. This is the, uh, this is the day off tumbler. Uh, it, hot and cold, I generally just keep water in here. Uh, 500ml, as I said, it keeps it cold all day. It's really good, I think it's about 12 hours cold. Um, and it, it works. Uh, then I have my pencil case, uh, which is the Galen Leather, um, once again, another Galen Leather product. I love Galen Leather. Uh, extra large pencil case. This is a you know, zip open uh, pencil case. And um, I'll just show you on the other angle sort of what I carry in here because this is stuff that I use for mostly for sort of everyday kind of for work stuff. Okay, so let's have a little look uh, in my Galen Leather uh, pencil case here. This is just like the, the basic everyday stuff I carry for work. As you can see, it's not super fancy gear. You know, it's a nice sort of simple Tombow Mono eraser. Um, a good brass pencil uh, sharpener in the uh, Galen Leather little pouch that they make for it. Some washi tape, which I use all in my bullet journal to like, as page markers and stuff like that. Highlighters, pencil, uh, you know, a, a, a Jetstream, Uniball Jetstream Multis, just for having a couple of different biros on hand. A little pair of Muji scissors, these are great, a little collapsible pair of scissors. Um, so they sort of open up and do the job very nicely. Um, you know, some, I said some pencils, a brass ruler, leads for the mechanical pencil, a sharpie, and a cup, couple of uh, Pilot Varsities there. This pencil case holds a really nice amount of stuff. It's a nice compact size, uh, and like a lot of sort of Galen Leather products, it's starting to show its age really nicely. Um, a few little sort of marks and scuffs and things, and that's only going to get nicer as it gets older. Galen Leather make beautiful things and uh, practical things, and this is one that I've always found incredibly practical. So that's what I keep in the main pocket uh, of this bag. The iPad being where I keep my music scores and all that kind of stuff, ease of email and you know all those kinds of everyday uh, stuff. So there's some good pockets in this uh, bag. So if I uh, the the Kindle fits in one, you can put a hard drive in it, uh, not a hard drive, a uh, uh, like a power bank, uh, and then connect it with a cable through to uh, a port here on the outside for your phone if you you know needing to be on that, uh, and then. The front pouch of this bag is where I keep sort of my really quick stuff that I need to grab hold of, like my wallet, which is the uh, the Bellroy Classic Note wallet in the grey. It's really lovely uh, with a nice sort of light blue sort of teal uh, internal sort of colour. Then I have 
things like my my keys of course and th this this bag has a really really great sort of way of connecting the keys it's, a little, it's on a little clip on the inside and i'll show all this in the full review as well it's on a clip on the inside and you just pull this little tab and it's magnetically attached and so your keys can come off super easily but you never lose them in here because they're attached um i do keep my keys on an orbit key uh, key organizer this is one of the uh this is the stars version that they did with, okay. with national geographic it's cactus leather it's really beautiful and it works like a dream um i keep some other things like basic you know like panadol and those kinds of things and then i also keep my fountain pen that i'm carrying and i only ever carry one fountain pen uh, when I leave the house for the most part uh, and uh, I normally put it in a sleeve it's either the Ashton leather sleeve or it's something like this which is the rickshaw uh, this is one of their tweed colored or the tweed material uh, pen sleeves what I have here is the uh, Visconti Homo sapiens which uh, is everyone knows is one of my favorite everyday writers um, it's not a toolkit writing sample with that with what I've got to interest at the moment uh, and then uh, come back and do a bit of a roundup so yeah the uh this going to be Homo sapiens there in the rickshaw tweed case. Um, this is one of those pens I've, I've loved for ages and um, made tons of videos about, so it needs no introduction. Uh, but uh, the ink I have in this at the moment is Aurora und Klinger. Uh, Smaragdgrün. Almost wrote that wrong. Which is a beautiful emerald teal. Uh, and looks great in this pen. This is a endless... This is the Endless uh, Creators Creative Block, tear off notepad, um, and uh, it's sort of a, the ADGSM regalia paper, super fountain pen friendly, smooth, shows the sheen and all that kind of stuff beautifully, as you can sort of see there on uh, Diamine Oxford Blue. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful ink and a beautiful pen, and uh, that it's got nice weight on it, and it sort of sits nicely, and it's a pen that I just love uh, writing with. So that's my everyday carry pen just at the moment. So I forgot to mention that in the back pocket of this is I, you know, I do keep you know, things like I'm, I'm a type one, you know, diabetic, so I keep you know medical supplies and things in there. It keeps everything really nice and sort of compact, and it's not a big backpack. It's you know I've got things like the Belroy Transit backpack, which if I'm doing a big day of you know multiple rehearsals and things, I can take multiple lots of stuff in there. Uh, but for a simple every day on the train, just going to rehearsal, music, drink you know, that kind of stuff. This is a really great size carry. And one thing that this case does really well is because it's got this, uh, it's not like a full flap over the front, um, it, it's just sort of uh, zipped across the top. Um, and all the zips have that sort of like waterproof casing. In fact, I got rained on the other day in this and everything was absolutely fine. As I said, I'm gonna do a full review of this bag, uh, talk about some pros and cons of it and all that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to show sort of the kind of thing I carry uh, every day. So I hope you found this interesting and useful. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. If there's anything you wanna know more about, let me know in the comments below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, get in touch and uh, I'd love to hear from you. So in the meantime, enjoy your carry, whatever it may be. And I'll talk to you soon.